Hey, what's up guys? Uh, got another video here about the backup camera in the 2014 Dodge Durango Citadel. Um, I don't know if you're experiencing like what we had. We had a little bit of water that actually got inside the lens and started causing some problems. So it's actually a really easy uh, fix. You can buy a new camera for anywhere between 50 and $100 um, off eBay or something like that. Uh, we found one for 50 it was used. Um, I'll show you how to take this back panel off so that you can get access to it. And I'll show you what we were having and then I'll show you once it's fixed. All right guys, so this is what we were having when we put it in reverse. It's just a total disaster. You can't see anything. Um, if you're experiencing that, this is your problem. All right guys, so I know I'm already ahead of the uh, process here because I've already removed this. Um, basically, you have your little clips here and there's clips all the way around and you're gonna wanna take your handles out. Now, be careful whenever you're taking your handles out because they only really come out one way. Okay, for the handles, as you can see, my dealership, we took it in to the dealership to get this LED light replaced because it burned out. And the tech didn't know how to take these off and he was trying to pry on the back sides and he broke both of the corners off of the handles. So don't do that. Take something, put it up top where it's smaller and it folds right out. The handle comes right out real easy. All right, once you pull the uh, handles out, like I showed you, they, they just have these like little clips in them on both sides. And you're gonna wanna push on this, this thinner side to push that out and then it just pops right out once you remove your handles you got all these clips you're gonna take and you're gonna pop them out you have these harnesses here they're for lights that are on the back so don't forget those they're just right here they unclip once you remove that and unhook them all these bolts in here there's a bunch of them I'm not even sure how many you got to remove these two here uh, these two here uh, I think there's some over in here you got these two here and these two here there's some back up in here that you have to remove I don't know if you can see that one it's it's up in there but basically what you have to do is you have to remove the entire brake light entire brake light has to come out because your camera is right there and it mounts to the actual brake light so that's what i'm getting ready to do right now then there's also this one could be hard to see there's these like clips for the uh, tail light and you have to like sort of push down on them a little bit and get them to unclip so that you can actually take the the brake light now and, and pull it right up off and, and then right here is the harness for your tail light so you're gonna want to unhook it so that you can pull this entire piece off Now, on the back side here, right here, that is where your camera would be. But obviously mine's gone because I ordered another one after I pulled this one off. So here's the new camera that I ordered. Um, if you need the part number, gonna be 6820 six eight seven two a e and basically it just screws in here all right so these screws are t10s is what they are little torx bit 
that's what you're going to need to remove the screws that hold the camera on and these are a 10 millimeter all the all the tail light bolts are 10 millimeter and I have a bunch of them here's here's all the ones that came out of it that's how many bolts come out of the tail light so the camera now just goes right inside this little area here just like that and you just put your screws in now it's just like that all right so now this is the hardest part it's holding the hatch down so it doesn't scratch everything when you put the tail light but the harness goes through this hole right here and in. And you have a grommet that goes in here to seal that up. Over here, don't forget to take and put your harness through. And then just line up all your bolts and reinstall this. Just like that. And now. Here's your harness that came through for the tail light. Plug that back in. Now up in here is where your wire is for your camera. Right there. All right, so now right here is your harness. It has to come down through over here and out this hole and then you plug it in right there. Now, we'll take all our bolts. And we'll put the tail light on. take this and you're going to want to take and hook up each wire for your lighting which this panel is pretty light so it's not going to hurt it to hang on it if it needs to and then up top up here, there's actually hooks that go right here into those, both sides. It's a little taller than I am. And then all you do now is take your handles, pop them in, and you're done. Alrighty guys, so now the camera's all installed. Now when we put it in reverse, there's a camera and it works. So we fixed that problem.
Alrighty guys, so that is how you replace the camera in the 2014 Dodge Durango Citadel. I'm sure it carries through a couple years there. I also have a little bit of instructions. I'll throw them up right now. And you can take a look at them and that might help you also how you do this but if you have any questions please leave them in the comments i'm happy to answer them at any time if you have any other questions about something on the durango that maybe i didn't do a video on ask me about that too because maybe i did and i just never made a video and if you like my stuff please subscribe and hit that like button and share it with anybody that might need some information about these durangos but i'll see you in the next one